This is going to be really professional, but I wrote like this big introduction and now I forgot it. <laughs> but we're just going to be really candid. Okay, just like off the cuff. Yeah, let's do it. This is Plinky Plunky. This is our first interview of the year. How fun. Would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Yes, um, I'm Justina. I, I suppose I run a band. Um, you might know me from Astral Juice. It's kind of the same configuration of people. We're in a neo soul band, bit of R&B, a little bit of jazz influence. Um, yeah, I really love what I do, and I'm really excited for this year because it's it's all going to be music. So we're we're back, baby. Amazing. Yeah. And how are you doing today? Great. It's very hot here in Marrickville, but we love we love the people here. So yeah, no. I've really got good. some little icebreaker questions. I'm ready. Let's break the ice. Um, you're on a desert island. What three things do you have? Um, I would bring... You know what? I would honestly bring my focus right. I really would. I would bring mm -hmm. like my my setup to make music. Because honestly, <laughs> Deserted <laughs> Island's little tunes, I think that would make a great album. And um, maybe just like fire. Something for fire. I don't know. I think I would learn how to hunt. I think I used to play survival as a child, it's just like an after school care, so I feel like I'm pretty resourceful. Could make a cute little bow and arrow. Don't need any of that, just file. Yeah. Dream Music Festival. Who are you who are your three headliners? Um, oh well Andy P. I love you, Anderson mm -hmm. Park, if you're if you're listening to Plinky Plonky. Obviously we know your preferred is. magazine, yeah. We gotta send him a copy. Um I reckon Cleo Soul. I would love to see Cleo Soul live. Um and Silk Sonic. Is that a cheat? I suppose Annie P is already there, but you know, Bruno Mars. Yeah. Yeah, Silk Sonic, Annie P, Bruno. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, and my last dumb little surprise icebreaker is just what brings you joy every day? Um, what's, music. What's something that makes you smile? Yeah, music. Like rehearsing with my band makes me really happy. Um, I think it was last year was a bit of a hell year because I was managing like three things at a time. I, like I teach kids and they're a handful and I do a lot of marking and it's a lot of bureaucracy in my job and that can be exhausting but just like music has always been the best part of getting paid a lot less than we should but you know it's at least mm. it's enjoyable <laughs> and amazing to do so yeah I think we're rehearsing just at like Rivers Place in his little lounge room. I guess you kind of got to this but to nail down the question more but mm. like what draws you to music in particular? Why, why are you doing music and not Mm. painting or yeah true something else well my uh my mom and my sister are painters and they just like always had the cr had that like creative knack and my mom used to force us to essentially be creative she would sit and paint and we're like okay but i was never into it like my my sister got really into it and she continues doing it but then i suppose i found my niche when i like started learning piano um when i was eight because my older sister, my cooler older sister was doing it and I was like, I wanna do it. And then I just played like Adele covers for years. Um, but yeah, I think I just like discovered this feeling. It's just like pure adrenaline. Like I often actually just don't drink um, at gigs or like when I perform because um, I found that like just, it sounds corny, but like music mm. can just be enough. Like the actual adrenaline that I get from performing is actually just insane. Like yeah. it, it, it actually just feels um like it's like a full body kind of thing for me um it could just be like excitement but it's like in overdrive and so and music has always done that for me like listening to it yeah to continue that like what does your creative process look like if you were to like <clears throat> like writing songs fizzle it. yeah and then from that into yeah. making i mean um I discovered the world of jamming through my band and that was cool, but also just like a terrifying prospect of having to like be in a space and everything that is coming from you is you. And if it sounds bad, then th that is also coming from you and that sucks. But getting good at jamming has been amazing because it's like often someone will be like, oh my God, we're on a vibe. Someone hit record and like that will often be a way. And then, yeah, I, I suppose I'm just like a born writer. I just like writing. I'm an English teacher. <laughs> so um, that's really good. Cause like, even when I'm teaching, I can still get like a creative flow when I'm teaching creative mm -hmm. writing and that's really great. But I suppose it's not super unique. It's just fun. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a lot of us kind of do just it that enjoying way. enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of enjoying it, you've got a number of gigs coming up. I do. Speaking of the music scene, what's something you love about it? What's something you, gets you really excited about the music scene here in Sydney 
Um, and then also maybe what's something you might not like? Yeah. Um, I'm going to say recent like about the music industry. I've actually just really liked for the last year because we've been on a, like a bit of a hiatus and like we've been doing stuff in the background. Obviously, I've been working on my solo stuff and I really stay to mine and affections. But like um, being an audience member rocks when you've been gigging and you're burnt out. Like just going to see a show in the inner west for your friends, like your friends in a local band, being on the other side of it rules. I'm like, yeah hell yeah you should buy a ticket to our shows because i love buying tickets to other people's mm. shows like it's just a fun thing to do as i said like i i teach at night so just like going straight from class into a gig oh, it's so good i love it um just having a big lemonade and like watching my friends like absolutely rock it and discovering new bands as well that are like emerging i think i reminisce a lot about like being in that position and like being mm. brand new is like such a fantastic thing because i feel like you get overworked and so it's nice seeing that what advice would you give to emerging creatives in mm. the music industry what would you say to them as advice where would they start maybe yeah um jamming i've mentioned that it's just a really great way if you go to a gig and you see a band that you like just be like jams jams kick-ons after this jams is there a jam going on there's usually a jam going on after a gig and if there's not make one um, meet people, like, um, don't be afraid to ask, like, the best musicians you've ever seen to be in a band, because I did that, and I have the best band ever, mm -hmm. um, and, I don't know, do whatever the hell you want, do what you love, be the best of friends with your band, otherwise it's not gonna work, <laughs> it's definitely not gonna work, um, like, be keen on, like, conflict resolution and letting everyone direct, like, having everyone arrange, having everyone write, um, but also don't be afraid to be like, this is mine, you know? Mm. Um, don't be afraid to step on toes. There shouldn't be such a thing. It should just be like everyone welcoming each other into the space and like there will always be kind of mini disagreements, but there will always be, there should always be resolution and just like play shows, play lots of shows, play tons of shows, play wherever you can, whenever you can. Just try not to burn out, which is hard to do. Beautiful. <laughs> Love to yeah. hear it. Um, is there anything you want to leave us with? Um, the This is my mic drop moment. Always believe in yourself. I don't know. Um, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> 